Hello friends, this video on states of matter part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 11. Let's understand Dalton law of partial pressure. So it was given by Dalton in 1801. It says that the total pressure by a mixture of non-reactive gas, please note non-reactive gas is equal to some of the partial pressure of individual gas. For example, I have gas 1, gas 2, gas 3 and they don't react. And if I have a mixture of this, I want to find the total pressure, to find the pressure of this, pressure due to this, pressure due to this. You add this, you get total pressure. Correct? So to total pressure is summation of all the pressure. We know that P is nothing but N R T by V. Right? So P1 will be what? N1 R T by V. P2 will be what? N2 R T by V. P3 will be what? N3 R T by V. Like that. So if you add this, you, you take N1 plus N2 plus N3 like this, dot dot dot. You take R T by V common, you get something like this. So P total will be you sum of all the moles into R T by V. Correct. And if you have a total pressure given, you want to find the partial pressure by gas 1. So it will be something like this. N1 by N1 plus N2 plus N3 dot 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 Pn into P total. Just simple math. Correct. Because if you see, P1 will be, because P1 share is N1. Right? So the total, if you add, if you divide N1 by total into P total, that will give you the pressure by P. So we have got these two formulas now. The first thing is total pressure for non-reactive gases. And the pressure, partial pressure by all this gas, P1, P2, P3. So P total will be, if you have all the moles given, you can just add them and multiply by R, T, Y, V, you get total pressure. Or if you want to find the partial pressure by 1 or partial pressure by 2, let's suppose. So it will be N2 by N1 plus N2 plus N3 dot 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 into P2. Right? The partial pressure exited by 2. This is the partial pressure exited by gas 1. Correct? And this is actually the internal pressure. So if I have a gas, I am talking about the internal pressure exerted by these gas on the walls of this balloon. Okay. Here I am not talking about the external pressure, I am talking about the internal pressure. So whenever you get this uh, pressure at mind, talk about internal and external pressure. Now we will start with the aqua station. Aqua station is nothing but the pressure exerted by saturated water vapor. Please note, saturated water vapor exert a pressure called aqua station. Now the question comes to our mind is why should we study this aqua station? What is our relation? So if you see most of the gas which we collect in the labs, in this labs, and reaction happen, most of the gas we collect in the lab is in water. So there will be water here, it goes to this pipe and you will collect the gas here. That's how the gas is collected in the lab. This is the case because from this the gas won't be able to escape. So here we see the water is involved, right? The if you want to find the pressure of dry gas because the gas is not dry here, so you have to find total pressure and you subtract the aqueous tension. Correct? And that's how you get pressure of dry gas. And that's why we have this aqueous tension also into picture because in the lab most of the gas we collect is in this kind of air uh, of instrument we call beehive cell and there the water is involved so any gas you collect here that has this aqueous tension also so try that part to get the pressure of the dry gas this thing we have already covered where we told that total pressure in terms of mole fraction will be you add all the moles multiply rt by b right also to find the pressure to one mole i mean the gas one will be n1 by n1 plus n2 Nk into P total. Similarly, pressure by second gas will be N2 by N1 dot Nk by P total. 
you want to find the pressure by kth gas will be nk by n1 plus n2 dot nk into p okay correct let's take some examples on the dalton law of partial pressure so here i have one uh, container which has neon and oxygen they don't react and we have neon uh, oxygen we have 70.6 gram and uh, neon we have 167.5 grams and the total pressure exerted by these gas is 25 bar you define a partial pressure so partial pressure which is first thing to define is the number of moles as I told right uh, partial pressure by 1 will be n1 by n1 plus n2 into p total total pressure is given to us if you want to find partial pressure you find the number of moles and number of moles is nothing but mass by molar mass so let's find the number of moles for o2 so my number of moles for O2, let it be N1, will be what? What is the mass of oxygen? 70.6 gram. 70.6. Divide by, what is the molar mass? Molar mass will be 32 gram per mole. So if you solve this, you get 2.21 mole. So this will be N1 for oxygen. For neon, my uh, N will be what? The mass of the neon, 167.5 gram, divided by the molar mass of neon will be 20 gram per mole. So if you divide this gram, gram cancel, and this, if you divide this, you get 8.375 mole. So we have got the value of N1 and N2. Correct. So now finding partial pressure by oxygen that will be very easy that will be what n1 by n1 plus n2 in total pressure that will be what uh, this is 2.21 by 2.21 plus 8.375 in total pressure that is 25 bar so we solve this you get 5.25 you want to find the partial pressure by neon gas here you have to put n2 by n1 plus n2 into p total so what is n2 8.375 mole and this will be 2.21 plus 8.375 total into 225 bar so if you solve this this becomes 19.75 bar and this is my answer Instead of solving this, what you could have done was you could have subtracted total pressure minus pressure by oxygen. That will give you my pressure of neon, right? And that will be nothing but uh, 25 minus 5.25, and that will give me 9.75 bar. Also. Same thing. So you can use either way. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.